Hey guys, so the day is almost here. It is so close. In fact, it is so close. It's tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow will be the day we bring home our little newbie and I am so freaking excited to be re-expanding our fur family. So today I thought I would give you a final look around of the cage. You can see some of the tiny minor changes I've made since the last vlog. This is of course not a proper cage tour since the majority of supplies are not in there yet. I'll be doing the full cage tour probably somewhere within the next two weeks. From the outside, you can get a little glimpse of what it's looking like, some of the changes that have been made. The first thing I'll actually point out is down here, and you can't see this because right here is the name plaque for our newbie. I decided I wanted to put a little plaque on this cage and we spent ages since I think the beginning of the year picking between a couple of different names and we finally settled on one that we really like. We are sticking with the science theme so you can expect it to be science related but we are so happy with the name we've chosen and we hope you guys will like it too. So there's the little name plaque under there. And up on the door, I finally decided on a new lock to use, and it's just a simple hook and eye lock. It just opens like that. And this one's really good because it does keep the cage secure. The other one wasn't doing a very good job, but this one, you can't open the cage, so the little one's not going to be slipping out of any gaps. So let's open this up. In fact, there's another change made to the doors. You can see just here, I have added in some string with a little eye here and a screw there holding it in place, and that just stops the doors from falling back onto their hinges, which could damage or even break the doors, which of course I do not want. Now if I give you a quick look around the inside of the cage, you will probably be able to see some of the changes. The biggest new change is this shelf here, because originally my plan was to hang a hammock, a large hammock across this area, but I made the hammock, hung it up, and I just did not like the way it looked. It didn't go with the crisp, clean clean look of the shelves, so I decided just to make another shelf, and this one, um, I will explain what this is in a minute, but this shelf, you can see it attaches to the step there, which is still accessible from the shelf down below, but also there is a second access to this shelf, and it is from this ramp over here which goes down onto the corner shelf. Originally, I wanted this corner shelf to be independent of everything, so it wasn't part of this shelf circuit, but I actually decided I liked it being joined in with it so that there are two different ways of getting up the circuit, if you want to call it that. Another thing I've done is finally add the foot grips to the ramps. These are on both ramps, and these are quite simply lolly sticks that I've cut down to size and glued onto there with some PVA glue. Most of the other changes I've made are safety related. I did want to put a couple of barriers on some of the shelves just to make sure there couldn't be any accidents. So up on this corner shelf, I have made uh, this little window here, which just has a bit of perspex in it. Same goes for this shelf, I have created this frame, U-shaped frame, with a sheet of perspex there, so there's no slipping. And then up on this shelf, I decided to do something a little different, because it is a weird shaped shelf. I created this little kind of picket fence look all the way around it, and this is made just simply using lolly sticks, and I love the effect that has. Under the shelves, I've also added a couple of hooks for hanging toys, like this chewing tree here, but I will show you those in more detail when I do the proper cage tour. And the last big change made to the cage is this wheel. Now I'm sure some of you are wondering where on earth I found a white wheel. This is in fact my old 11 inch Trixie rodent wheel and I just recolored it white and I have permanently attached it, or at least semi-permanently, attached it to the wall of the cage using nuts and bolts and you can see right there is what I suppose I would describe as a wooden washer. I just cut out a wooden circular shape to go between the wheel and the mesh here so that the wheel doesn't bump against it. So this wheel is practically silent, which is awesome. So those are all the minor changes I've made since the last vlog, and I'll be adding in the rest of the supplies later tonight. In the meantime, there are still some of you guys who haven't figured out what the animal is. I have to be honest with you, it's very obvious. When I posted that first video, the only reason I didn't say what it was was because I thought it'd just be a fun surprise. I genuinely thought you guys would get it basically instantly. But so far, only a small group of people have actually got it. And for those of you who haven't yet, I think you're gonna be kicking yourselves when you 
do figure it out. So what I'm going to do is because I know some of the clues and hints and things are kind of scattered at the minute, I'm going to place all of them down in the description box beneath this video so you can see them all piled together and hopefully that will make it more clear for those of you who haven't guessed yet. Oh, and also some of you came very close to actually getting it, but you were put off by something I said around about two years ago, uh, which was along the lines of uh, we were having a new rule in our family um, that was going to exist as long as we lived in this apartment. But if you remember at the beginning of my first cage vlog, I did say we're moving soon, so that rule doesn't apply anymore. So for those of you who are confused by that, there you go. Anyway, I hope you guys are really excited to meet him or her tomorrow. I'm so, so excited about this whole thing. I cannot wait. And in the meantime, leave a like, share, all that stuff, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.